Hey, what's up? Welcome to Late Night Pizza. In this one, we're going to be making a mono repo that holds multiple spell kit apps and shares a UI component library. Uh, so let's get into it. All right. So this is Turbo Repo, and there are some other mono repo tools, but I recently have learned about Turbo Repo, and it seems, uh, like in my opinion, probably the best one out there. Um, so let's just get let's just get rolling, and we'll kind of talk about things as we go. All right, I'm just gonna do this example project. It's gonna come with two Next.js at Next JS apps, but we're just gonna delete those. So let's call this Turbo Repo Spell Tonight Turbo Repo Spell Kit. Let's use PMPM. All right, let's CD into our Turbo repo, and let's go ahead and open it and just see what, what we've got. Let me use my finder for a second. All right. So we've got kind of a basic setup. Our apps are going to live in this app directory, and then we can have shared packages in the packages directory. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete a couple things that I don't need right now. I'll reinstall the node modules. I don't need either of these two apps. They're currently, the example project comes with some Next.js apps. And I don't want those because we're doing Spelt Kit. And I don't want these packages either. So with that done, let's open this up in VS Code. larger might be too big we'll see and let's install our spell kit apps I'm just gonna run the the install here um, this is gonna be inside of apps so let's just make one called let's see I've done this before let's do blog so skeleton project Let's go inside of there, and I want to install Tailwind, and we'll see why later. I mean, I, Tailwind's awesome, but um, I'm going to use it for some components just to quickly get us up and running. Uh, to add Tailwind, there's this awesome library called Svelte Add Tailwind CSS. So I'm just going to use that. If you use these options, forms and t topography, then it installs those plugins for you, which is really handy. All right. So this one should be good to go. I'll go ahead and run, I'm gonna CD back out of here to the root. And I'm gonna run pmpm install or i. All right, and now I should be able to run a dev command. So we can run dev. Uh, when you install turbo, you get a turbo.json, and that gives you some uh, what's called a pipeline. And these are different commands that you can run all at the same time on all of your directories. So if I run dev, it's going to run dev inside of my blog right here. So it's going to run this uh, command for this, this app. 
So let's uh, let's do it. I want to make one change. I want to for my outputs. I'm going to add the Svelte kit. Svelte kit output here. So now if I run pmpm um, turbo run, actually spelled wrong, pnpm turbo run dev, and it should run our blog app. Awesome. And just to make sure that Tailwind is working on here, let's go into our index file, and let's just add a class to this h1. Let's just say text 5xl. Here we go. All right, so we've got one spell kit site up and running. I'm going to run the same steps to get another one running. Back into our apps. All our spell kit app. Let's just call this one uh, website. Do another skeleton. Okay, let's install another instance of Tailwind. So let's cd into our website app. And then another install of Tailwind. Okay, so let's test this out. A little bit of repetition here, but it's all good. Another pmpm install. And now let's run our dev command again. So this should run our website and our blog. Before I do this, let me add a little bit of, uh, make some changes on the website so that we can tell that it is different. So let's call this one website. Let's do class. Excel. What is that? Text. Excel. Text. Um, red. Let's do this 700. Okay, and then back in our blog, I'm just gonna call this blog. I'll make this one blue. Okay. So now I'm gonna run this pmpm turbo run dev. And we've got an error. Oh, so right now they both are currently trying to run on the same port. So to fix this, I'm going to go into my, I'm going to go into the blog, go into the package.json, and just for the dev command, just change the port to be 3001. Cool. So we've got our website running on uh, localhost 3000. We've got our blog running on localhost 3001. Awesome. You can see these are two different sites. So what is really cool about this is that from here, I can set up a shared um, component library. So to do that, I'm going to go inside of packages and I will CD inside of there. I'm going to go ahead and make a directory, call it UI, and then inside of UI, I'm going to do a pmpm init. Okay, 
So now I have my package.json and it expects me to have an index.js, which I will go ahead and add that. And what else do I need here? Maybe let's just go ahead and make my first component. And if we run into errors, I'll fix them at that time. So the first thing I want to add is a header. Because a lot of times you'll have sites or you know, like a doc, a doc site and a blog and a website that all share a basic header. So header.svelte and to get this code, I've installed Tailwind. I'm gonna just grab some code from this Meraki. I think that's how you say it. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I think that's how you say it. Um, but they've got some nice components in here. Uh, I'm a purchaser of Tailwind UI. It's, it's, uh, it's more expensive than I think it should be, but you know, it's saved me quite a bit of time. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these nav bars. Let's grab this one. Uh, one thing I like about this Meraki UI is that it has a dark mode built in, and t uh, so does Tailwind. So they basically, when I drop this in, since my computer's default is dark mode, it's going to look like this one. Or at least that's the, the plan. Okay, so I've got this in here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these... Um, Haref pounds because that's going to throw a sort of a spell kit error or warning. Okay, so we're good here. We've got a header. Um, let's just go ahead and grab a footer while we're at it. Which one's cool? Let's get this simple one. No, let's get this one. So, let's go ahead and create a footer.svelte. Drop this in. Okay, the same thing, just to get rid of um, our, our warnings from Svelte. So now we've got two components in this UI sort of library. Um, so to use them, really all that I have to do is add that UI package to the package.json's for the actual apps. So I'll do it as a dev dependency. I'm not sure if it matters. I'm actually still a little bit unsure if I ever need to add anything as a normal dependency for a SvelteKit site since it gets compiled. But if you know the answer to that, I'd be happy to hear it in the comments. So the name of this package is just UI, and that name comes from the package.json. It comes from this name right here. All right, so I'm gonna add it here. I'm gonna use a star here for reasons that I'm not sure about. I think what it does is it's like a bit of a wild card, and it just, at first it searches for UI here in the packages and if it can't find it here then it might look elsewhere um, so i'm going to add that i'm going to also add it to my website package.json save it save it and i need to do another pmpm PM install so let's just get back to the root pmpm hi Okay, um, let's try to use it. So kind of an ideal way to use a header and footer is just in your layout. Um, I'm on the blog site, so let's do an import header. You can see it kind of corrected my, my path, but that's not what I want. I want to start with the UI since I have the UI um, library or can, uh, package. here, I have a footer 
here in a second. Let's just go ahead and install that. Same thing. All right. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this over to test it inside of the website as well. We're going to hit an error because I don't think that Tailwind knows about uh, knows about the like it doesn't parse um, the code in our packages. But let's let's find out. Okay, so no error here. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't know. So you can see the the, the text here is large because Tailwind does know about um, does know about the Tailwind classes coming from our actual app, but it doesn't know anything about the Tailwind classes coming from the packages. So to fix that, we go to go into the content and add to this array of content. This used to be called purge CSS, but it's it's called content now. So let's add to our array. I'm going to paste in the current one. What I think we want to do is we want to go up out of our website, which will put us inside of our apps directory. And then we want to go up again into our packages and then into our UI. So let's give that a try. Pathing is not my strong point. Is and UI. And where am I? I'm in the website. So let me add this to both of the. I think I got this right. It, it looks right. So let me add this to the blog. Keep it look nice. So let's restart our server. I do believe that's up, something you have to do when you change your Tailwind config. Oh, there we go. Awesome. So you can see this is working on both sites and the components are shared. So if I were to go into the component and just make a change in the header and just say testing. See, this is going to span across across both sites. It's pretty awesome. Um, just as an example of kind of how you can do this, how you can customize this, um, let me go into my layout. Because likely in your header, you might have like a different logo or even different nav options. So let's change the logo here. Let's make a variable called um, site title. Let site title equals pizza Pass this in as the logo. Title as the logo. Um, I'll pass it into the footer as well. And I'm going to take the, all these changes and put them into the blog as well. Then, inside of the header and footer, I'm going to pull that site title instead of this brand. So to do that, I'm going to put my script tag at the top and do export let to pull in the prop site title and 
but I'll just swap out this word brand site title. Let's do the same thing in the header. I've done something wrong. Oh, I've called it logo, not I don't the the prop is not called site title. Yeah, so pizza website. Of course, I've named them <laughs> the same thing, which is defeats the purpose of what I was trying to show. So this is pizza website. So the website is pizza website. A blog is going to be pizza blog. There we go. Cool. And the last uh, sort of tip that I want to show you is that. Uh, you can change your Tailwind configurations to be slightly different or as different as you want to make the sites sort of have a different feel but use the same uh, the same Tailwind. So I'm going to do colors and I'm going to make a color called primary. Default for primary. Oh, what are these HTML colors? Uh, what is there? Tomato that everyone likes to use? Is that how you spell tomato? Now I should be able to go into my other Tailwind config. I'm just going to copy this one. It's another uh, color indigo. All right, so go into the header and change the just change the dark and the light background to be primary. And I'll do the same thing for the footer. All right, and I think I need to restart my, no, I don't need to restart my tailwind. So you can see how this is the same code, but it is rendering different names, different colors, all using shared components. So I'm going to go wrap this video up. It's been long enough, but thanks for watching and enjoy your pizza.